Those who love me will keep my word and my father will love them and we will come to them and make our home with them. With our craft video today, we are going to make a star to be able to hang in your Christmas window. We're aiming for something like this, which looks quite impressive and clever, but honestly, it's really quite easy when you break it down step by step. So for this craft, we are going to need some plain white paper, a pair of scissors, a stapler, some sticky tape, Pen to do draw some lines, some colouring pens if you want to colour in, and you might want some glitter or something to decorate your star with as well. So the first thing that we need is a square of paper, and the easiest way to do that is to get a piece of A4 paper and to fold one corner across to the other edge of the piece of paper so that you make a triangle shape. You get your pen and draw along the line. At the bottom of this triangle, up here, this piece of paper here is a square. So we're going to cut along that line so we have a square of paper. And the next stage is that we're going to fold it back across that line to make a triangle. That's it. And then we're going to fold it in half again to make a smaller triangle. Okay. And then this part is the most important part to get right because otherwise the whole thing falls apart. So if you have a look at your triangles, you'll see that you've got an open edge here, a bit like the wings of a bird, and then a fold like this. 
And what you need to do is put a piece of paper with the open edge down towards you. And we're going to draw some lines from that edge. Parallel to this line here, about a finger width apart. Like this. And that line is going to stop short of where this fold is. And we're going to do five lines. And then these lines, we're going to cut with some scissors very carefully with the whole thing still folded up. Fantastic. So now if we open it up, you should find you've still got a square shape. But you've cut lots of squares inside it that are just joined together with little plates, little pieces. There we are. So now is quite a good time to decorate it if you want to decorate it. Um, the star that I showed you at the start. We used some coloured paper to make that one. So if you have, it was coloured on one side and white on the other. But if you want to decorate it, you might just want to make a glittery squiggle on your piece of paper. Or I put some glitter on one of these after putting it together. Um, I've got another one here. I'm not sure if you can see where I've written twinkle glitter sparkle on the piece of paper. What my beautiful assistant is going to do is show you what happens if we just put lots and lots of colour just very gently squiggled onto the paper and what we might do is write something in the middle we're thinking this week about waiting for christmas at home so we might what might be waiting for learned is it's probably easier to colour it in before you can make the cuts in the piece of paper but hopefully that will look really good when we make it into our star. So the next thing we need to do we're going to turn it over so that we're on the plain side and we are going to curl in these middle triangle pieces and hold them together like this and then stick them together with a piece of tape. And then we turn the whole thing over, flip it over, and get the next two pieces of our paper, hold them together, and stick them with some tape. Flip it over again, grab the next pair, bring them together, and stick them together. twirly twirly whirly thing. Um, we are going to do one more to show you, make sure you've got the hang of it. So we've got another one of our pieces of paper that we've cut up. We've coloured it in before we cut it up this time. Open it out like this. So we 
need six of these to make our star. So you've just seen us make two and here are some we made earlier. So we've got six of these shapes. So what we need to do is get a hold of our stapler and to make the star we're going to join all six of them together by one the bottom of each of their pointy bits. And if we get three of them together like this and then pop it in the stapler okay so we've got three joined together and then we'll join the other three together in the same way And then these two that we've put three and a three, we need to staple those together like this. All of them together. So we've now got our six funny shapes stapled together. And the final bit, which is a bit fiddly, but we'll finish off our star, is that each of them has got a cross next to each other. So each of these squirrely things We've got a cross that's touching. If you staple those crosses together all the way round, you'll end up with a star that holds itself together. There we go. And there is our Christmas star. You can see that we've got one that's coloured with a Jesus because we're waiting for him for at Christmas time. All different sorts of decorations. And if you hold a, if you pop a ribbon on the top, you can hang that in your window. So as we think about waiting for Christmas at home, we can decorate our houses with things like these stars. We hope you have a lovely week and are enjoying your Advent season. Lots of love. Bye for now, everyone. You are welcome here. God, God is, is welcome, welcome here. here. You are welcome here. We, we are, are welcome here. here. Come and be here. Come, come and, and be, be you. you. Holy God, come among us and be you. We are not always generous hosts, O oh God, and we do not always feel welcome. We have not celebrated one another as the good gifts we are. We have not cried together in the seasons when we have needed a good cry. We have not contacted one another often enough to, gra to gasp in joy or sigh in pain. Forgive us, O oh God. Teach us again to create home for friends and strangers, loved ones and enemies. Mary visits Elizabeth. Soon afterward, Mary got ready and hurried off to a town in the hill country of Judea. She went into Zechariah's house and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby moved within her. Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and said in a loud voice, You are the most blessed of all women and blessed is the child you will bear. 
Why should this great thing happen to me, that my Lord's mother comes to visit me? For as soon as I heard your greeting, the baby within me jumped with gladness. How happy you are to believe that the Lord's message to you will come true. Hello, welcome to this second Advent service. We're looking at places where people waited and today we're looking at the theme of waiting at home. In the college where I trained as a minister, there was a long-standing tradition of a college review produced in December before the end of term. It was good fun and really was mostly in-house jokes and making fun of our lecturers and people we knew. We would rewrite the words of hymns and songs and think ourselves incredibly funny. Mostly I've forgotten what we did, but one sketch which was called Miss Liturgy and we thought was a fine send-up of the Miss World contest was all about worship. And of all the contestants, I think there was a Miss Pentecost, a Miss Christmas, things like that. I remember Miss Advent, eight months pregnant with her first daughter, the wife of one of my fellow students, had no more than a three minute part in the whole review. And it was as Miss Advent, she walked across the stage, eight months pregnant, 
and went back to her flat for a cup of coffee. I think it, we did this review three times. There was a slowness and a care as Jill, the name of the mum, walked across the stage. Mary, in our reading, is in much more of a hurry. She makes haste to visit Elizabeth, uh, but then stays three months, which suggests that she didn't rush back and she took time to settle down, which is not altogether surprising, given the energy of the spirit that emerged as Elizabeth and Mary encountered and met each other, both pregnant, in Elizabeth's house. Mary is on a visit, but feels at home, and she wants to stay there. Can you think of occasions when you hurry home? What do you hurry home for? Are you getting away from something or are you looking forward to something? And what does it mean for you to feel at home? Is it about the memories, the place? Is it about things you do? What makes home? And through all of that, in what ways has God nurtured you in and through your home? Being at home does not necessarily mean being out of the action. Some years ago, the Evangelical Alliance Relief Fund produced a poster whose caption I've always remembered. It said across the top of the poster, this woman is supporting a revolution in South America. I wonder what picture you imagine would go below it. In fact, it was of an older woman sitting at home. Her contributions and prayers for Tear Fund supported a world-changing program of education and health care. Things that were very much in tune with Mary's song, which we will sing together just after this reflection, about God reaching out to the lowly and the hungry and the poor. As the second candle in the ring burns, we wait and pray and give thanks for the shelter of our homes, for those who we will welcome to it way beyond the lockdown and for the world around us in which we are called to share the love of God. We wait in Advent together. Lord my God, I entrust all my loved ones to your care and I pray you will protect and guide them daily. Meet them, O Lord, at every point of their need and fulfil all their heart desires. Be their guard and grant them the opportunity to enjoy good health all days of their lives. We share the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, rest and remain upon each one of you and upon all those you love and pray for during this Advent season. Amen. <laughs>